Volcanoes are one of the natural wonders of the world. Powerful and yet beautiful. They're found all over the world, but mostly along the belt called the Ring of Fire. But did you know that there are four in Mauritius? I've had the privilege of visiting two of them, Troukanaka and this one, Trou au Serre. Trou in French literally translated means hole, and this you can find right here in the center of Mauritius, just one kilometer from Curepipe. What did they say? When you come to Mauritius, you must never ever forget an umbrella and mosquito repellent. Look at me, getting rained upon. So this is Kyopi and it's a good couple of degrees cooler than Tamara. I know people who have fireplaces in their homes here. Really, it gets that cold. I'd say it's almost the Beverly Hills of Mauritius. It's here where you find the biggest houses, massive gardens, almost like mansions, and it's very green. And of course, a lot of people like living here because the climate is ideal, because it's not so hot. Today, I haven't come for the weather but instead to check out this dormant volcano. But behind me is this uh, Trou au Serre. Also called Meurs Volcano, this is one of the most famous natural tourist attractions in Mauritius. The volcanic crater is around 605 meters above sea level with a diameter of 350 meters and a depth of around 100 meters. Oh, that's better, a bit of Sunshine, that's the thing with this area in Kyopip, is you never know quite what you're going to get. The temperature and the weather changes at the drop of a hat. Luckily for me, the sun gods have been kind today. And there's lots of very pretty flowers around here. Those guys, YouTube fans, always nice to meet fans. So this region in Mauritius, this Kyopip region, it's on the plateau, so it's right slap bang in the center of the island. Which explains where the weather station is located here. It's pretty well placed, that weather station. You can see it behind me. Spectacular view all the way around the island. And of course, that gives you the best accurate weather predictions for Mauritius. And there's also some fabulous views because you're elevated and you can see right the way, virtually right the way around the island. Just look how gorgeous this crater is, surrounded by a vast area of lush forest consisting of indigenous plant species and some giant green pine trees. It is believed that this volcano erupted once and has remained dormant for the last 700,000 years. The other thing that's really nice to see today is that there are actually tourists around. Tourists. We have another drone pilot over there. See the drone. There's lots of runners as well that come here and I've seen quite a few tourists around today. In fact, I was just speaking to a man who said that Mauritius at last is breathing. So that's fantastic. There's a jogger. Apparently they like to do this round circuit. It's actually perfect for it. If you're in the area, support the local vendors too, who sell all sorts of nice handcrafted Mauritian goodies. What a great place. But there's another spot that I have to show you just down the hill. But I had to stop here, because look at this view, isn't it spectacular? It's the other side of the, uh, the Rompard mountain, or I call it the Gorilla Mountain or the Lion Mountain. And I love the way the view changes as you drive past. It's absolutely stunning. So um, I'm gonna fly my drone. This island is not only a sea place, I mean, look at these fantastic mountains. The Trois Mamelles showing off in all their glory. Drone Wars for the first time in a long time. I'm competing with this chap over here, who is flying a drone. That's so cool. That's magic, isn't it? It's just what we need. Borders open and tourists here. That's it from me for this week. Trois Put it on your list, come to Mauritius, we're open, and uh, it's a fantastic place to visit. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will check you on the next one. See ya.